everybody. John here from the Heresy Accountability Buddies podcast. I figured I'd go through how I'm going to be making the terrain posters. So the first thing I did was I took all the artwork that I wanted to use and uploaded it into uh, Google Drive into a spreadsheet of just poster pages. You can see here this is the um, Militara Murphy's artwork. Uh, this is our Heresy posters and this is from uh, Underhive Art who gets the permission for you to print those. Um, so for us, obviously, because this is our terrain, I've, given, I've been given permission to print these, uh, and then Military Murphy gave me permission to print these. Uh, so make sure that you actually have permission to print the objects that you're going to be using for your artwork and posters. After you've got that done, what I did was I took, I've got a basic black and white laser printer. And so I went through and printed off a bunch of different sizes to make sure that I could get them all to work. Took handy dandy Marco Colombo for size and made sure that they kind of fit with what I'm going for. And made sure that these are large enough to read, but also look good on the tabletop. Uh, from there, I went to Kinko's and got them to print out those posters for me in on a color laser. Now you definitely need to be using a color laser here so that way you don't have to worry about inkjet uh, working funky with uh, the glue that you're gonna be using in just a minute. Uh, I got a little bit of a cut off here, but because these are gonna be blown up and worn up, of course it'll be the Ultramarines that are gonna be the ones that are gonna be messed up and then uh, the Militar Murphy. After you've got those cut up, or after you've got them printed off, what I did then was took a nice straight edge cutter. This is just one that uh, Christina had lying around. Uh, and I cut all of the posters into thin strips just to make it easier for me to work with. Uh, obviously, if you're gonna be doing this in production, I would probably make sure that all these are the same height or maybe even closer together. That way you're not wasting as much time. Uh, but after I got them into strips, then I went through and manually cut them out with scissors until I had a, a pile of posters that I could be used for terrain. After I've got all that together, uh, it's really just making sure that I can get them on the terrain. So I figured I'd go ahead and film what that looks like now. You can see here I've got the scenic cement from Woodland Scenics. This is basically just PVA glue and water. You can see it's really thin in there. Uh, this one cracked, so I just went ahead and cut it open so that I can just work on it straight. I've got a pair of tweezers here, and I'm just going to take one of my posters. We'll just use this Erebus one right now. Clamp it with the tweezers. Dip it in the glue. And then what I do is I go ahead and wipe it on the edge as it comes off. This way I have a little less to do when I'm working on it. And so now we've got a wet poster. Got a nice spot here for this poster. I'm gonna put it right there. Pack it down with my thumb. Take the handy dandy set of paper towels that I've got nearby. And wipe it. That's basically it. 